So Donald Trump may have had the worst week of his campaign, politically speaking anyway. He says it's the dishonest media's fault, so do many of his supporters, but this week he made moves that made headlines because frankly, he just didn't seem to make any sense. And some are openly wondering if he's tanking on purpose. Others just say he doesn't know how to pick his battles. Joining me this morning to talk about it, New Hampshire chair of the Trump campaign, Steve Stepanek. Good to see you, sir. Welcome, Josh. Fair to ask right out of the gate, are the faithful beginning to lose the faith? Uh, no, uh, I don't think so. I'm not losing faith. Uh, as you know, I've been uh, supporting uh, Mr. Trump uh, since June of last year. I've been through these in the past. Uh, I hope this is the very last one I'm through. I think uh, Mr. Trump... Any controversy or campaign? Both. <laughs> okay. right. uh, but, you know, I've, I've been on board with, with Mr. Trump for uh, 14 months now, and there's been a number of controversies over that period of time. I think uh, we're moving into a different area here as a national campaign. I think this will be the last controversy we have. I think that Donald Trump understands from what has happened in this, in this particular situation and the people who have talked to him that he has got to focus on one thing and one thing only, and that is Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, the disastrous policies that they have put upon this country for the last eight years, and the fact that Hillary Clinton will continue the same disastrous policies economically and foreign policy-wise for the next four years, and this country just can't survive that. And Donald Trump now understands that he is going to focus on that, and when he does focus exclusively on that, he will win in November. I'll point out that in Portland when he spoke, uh, he managed to stay on message. There were some protesters there. He's taken a lot of heat. Uh, he responds the way he responds. I mean, the political correctness, uh, anti-political correctness is what drew a lot of people toward him. But post-convention, his supporters were fired up. Skeptical Republicans were cautiously optimistic that maybe he was hitting a more disciplined stride. And then he engages a gold star family inexplicably. And then goes after Kelly Ayotte, John McCain, Paul Ryan, people he would need theoretically to help him get enough support to beat Hillary Clinton. What was your take on that? I'm interested in your perspective and how frustrating was it? Uh, it was somewhat frustrating that he got off message. Um, you know, I was obviously through the whole situation it was frustrating because I know Donald Trump. I know how much he admires and supports and has for decades and decades uh, our veterans, our families who have uh, lost loved ones defending this country. And we have nothing but respect for uh, the cons the Khan family and the ultimate sacrifice they made for this country and their son who was a hero. And, and so it was I think a little bit taken out of context as far as the point that Mr. Trump was trying to make, but I think that... Which one? The Khan? Yeah, the Khan family. The, the Khan family. But I think at this point in time, um, we are um, focused and he needs to focus on Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, and the problems, the immense problems this, this country has and what we, he is going to do to make this country great again. And if he does that, he will be President of the United States. Are you convinced that the inner circle around him, uh, one, is giving him the right advice, and two, that he's not just listening to it, but actually thinking about it and taking it? Because, say, the con thing was taken out of contact, sure, but under any circumstances, politically speaking, you know, an operative would say, never engage a gold star family, what, 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 no matter what they say. I, I will agree that that is probably a misstep on his part. However, moving forward, he needs to focus, and he will focus, and he does listen. I have talked to him numerous times. I've given him advice early on in the campaign, which is he taken. I know he takes advice. He listens. He wants to listen to a lot of people, and then he digests that information and makes a decision. So he's very good at that. I think he is doing that. Uh, remember, he's not your typical politician. He hasn't been trained for 40 years on, on how controversies arise, how the press will take things out of context. But he's a very quick study. He now understands, based upon the consequences that, that we've had in this past week, he's got to focus on one thing. That's attacking Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, and their disastrous policies, and bringing Republicans together. 
One of the things we've had, we've had a number of issues with, with various Republicans in this state. As soon as Donald Trump became the nominee, I've gone out and said we need to unite the entire Republican Party uh, behind the entire Republican ticket here in New Hampshire and get all Republicans elected in November from Donald Trump through to the governor. Now we have a number of primaries, so sure. you know we don't play in those primaries. And until we have, as of September, we will have our final Republican slate. At that point in time, we will be supporting that entire Republican slate, and we will be pushing hard. We are working very hard now with with the RNC here in the state. Uh, we're coordinating our efforts with them. Actually, we have a number of RNC people actually working. The Victory people working out of our office here in Manchester. So we've had we have had numerous meetings to coordinate our ground efforts. We have a very significant ground game building here in New Hampshire with people on the ground. Uh, we are setting up a very intense organization. We're building off of the uh, databases and the organization that we built over the primary period. Um, so as we, as we go forward, we're very excited about New Hampshire and the fact that we're going to win here in New Hampshire. You, now, you just said that you're going to support the entire Republican slate. That is contradictory to what Donald Trump said when it came to Paul Ryan and Kelly Ayotte. Uh, why do you believe that that will happen? And I will point out that while she has an outright support or endorsed Donald Trump, says she will support the Republican nominee, hasn't taken any clear shots at him. Uh, the other side of the and aisle is tying her to... When, when she's the Republican nominee, which she is not yet, because she has a primary. When Paul Ryan is a Republican nominee, which he is not yet. That'll change. That'll change. Okay. Um, did, has he changed as a candidate? Has he gotten better as a candidate or worse as a candidate? I remember a year ago he'd come in and he'd do a conversation with the candidate, the show with the live town hall audience, and immediately when he walked in, there was skepticism. They're like, all right, come on, New York celebrity. Right. An hour later, he own the entire crowd, it seems. He has the ability to turn people and fire them up. Um, why isn't that translating uh, when he gets to the mic? And maybe it is to a certain degree. I, I think there's, there's a much stronger focus because now he's the sole occupant of the Republican side of the ticket. He is the sole focus of the media. The media did not take him, quite frankly, no one took him seriously when he announced back in June of last year. Everybody was surprised at what has happened. And what has happened is that he has tapped into the frustration of this country, the frustration against political correctness, the frustration against the establishment, the frustration of the stagnation of our economy, the frustration of trade deals that are good for our trading partners, good for our businesses, and lousy for our workers. That has been building and building for a very long time. Donald Trump is tapped into all of that, and he will continue to tap in, uh, into all of that. One of the things that I, I discovered during the primary and the polling was we would get polling and he would be consistently at a certain level, and then we would get to the election and he would perform significantly better than what the poll said. And this is a little bit of people when they are asked about Donald Trump, especially when we're in the middle of a controversy, will say, oh, you know, they, they really won't admit that they're supporting Donald well, Trump. Well, what does that say? Hey, we got to end because we're just about out of time. But I, I, I do have to ask you this. Um, are you convinced that moving forward he does have the support of the people, enough support uh, around him to help keep him on message? Um, and does he need a break, maybe? I think that he has the support of the people around him. I don't think he needs a break. He is a workaholic. He feeds on that. So I don't think he needs a break, but I think he has the support of the people around him. In previous con controversies, they were usually, quite frankly, I have to say, they were positive for him. He always did better after a controversy. This is the first controversies over this past week where there were very negative consequences of what was what was happening because the entire press piled on him so heavily and extended the story i think he learned very quickly about that and his and all of his advisors uh have have let him know that and i think he understands now they're going to twist everything he says and build it 
make a mountain out of a molehill. So going forward, I think he's going to be very, very focused on the issues that this country is facing and the issues that his people are facing uh, as far as the voters and the, the citizens of America. Certainly interesting times. I've known you for a long time and I appreciate the candor when it comes to this. This must be something very interesting from your perspective. Steve Stepanek. Thank you so much, Josh. It's been a pleasure being on here with Indeed. you. Indeed. We'll see you again soon. And we're